Yes, it is I. Yes, it is he. It is me. I was here, and I was gone over there, but now I'm back again. I'm Manjalal, and I'm a reader, writer, and journalist. And this is my YouTube channel, Man of the Hour, which I haven't uploaded a video to in over six to nine months. More on that in a minute, but I feel that I should tell you guys a little bit more about me and about this channel and what my grand plans are. Like I said, I'm Manjalal and I am of Arab heritage, particularly Yemen and Iraq. I grew up in Dubai until I was 12, where I moved to New Zealand, where I studied high school and university and worked for a little bit. In fact, I went to art school while I was in New Zealand and I majored in painting and then photography and I learned a lot of art history and English literature along the way. I think the best and maybe the only thing I ever learned from art school were two. Don't take anything personally and there are no mistakes. Wise lessons. Funnily enough, the whole time I was trying to be an artist, I was reading a shitload and writing a whole bunch of stories. So I shifted gears, I did a U-turn, some other driving metaphor, and I decided to get into journalism while studying a master's in creative writing. I started off in communications, writing and producing a magazine about ice cream. Yes, I said ice cream, and I will fight anyone to the death if they tell me you cannot create a magazine about ice cream. I did, and it was amazing. Eventually, I left the ice cream screen making writing business and entered the world of arts, culture, entertainment, journalism. I ran a magazine about high-end watches. I had a weekly pop culture column in a newspaper. I have written reviews about books, TV shows, movies, art exhibitions. I've managed to interview some of the most interesting people from humanitarians and artists and writers and celebrities of all kinds. And last year, I launched something called the Arab Edition, an online platform about the Arab world in English. We cover arts, culture, history, fascinating people, interviews, all in articles as well as video content, and we have memes. Who doesn't love a meme? So do follow us on social media. I also write a lot of fiction, and I have a few interesting projects on that front in the works. So about this channel, this channel. The reason why I haven't been posting any videos over the last six to nine months is that basically I've been caught up. First of all, I got caught up with my hectic job as an entertainment journalist, but uh, that is not going to be an issue anymore. Nope. I go on the radio sometimes, I do TV stuff sometimes, I'm on the stage sometimes, all of it talking to subjects and issues that pertain to the subjects and issues that have made up this channel. What are those? Subjects pertaining to this channel, I hear you ask. Great question. It all started two years ago when I decided to focus all of my reading power on books solely from the Arab world. Classics, contemporary fiction, translated works, works in Arabic and works about the Arab world written in English by Arab and non-Arab writers. Whew. So what did I learn from reading so many books about the Arab world? There aren't enough books about the Arab world. Our experiences are so diverse and so nuanced and the literature should really be reflecting that. It doesn't as of yet, but I'm really hoping that it will soon. So from that starting point, my YouTube channel kind of expanded to include video essays about pop culture and how it pertains to the Arab world, articles that I've read, issues that I find really pertinent to the region, as well as interviewing personalities that are somehow involved within the Arab world. But now things have changed. I'm not gonna say they're bigger and better because I don't know. Is it bigger and better? I don't know. I'm still the same. I'll be creating content on bookish things as well, which include books that I've read and am reading, and these include practically everything. From the classics to contemporary fiction to YA to fantasy, crime, historical fiction and chiclet. I literally read everything. There will be videos on pop culture, a topic that I find fascinating as it exists in the intersections of all different kinds of topics in today's climate. I'll be posting videos on our history, a subject that I am incredibly passionate about, with a little sprinkling of fashion history as well. Because fashion is art, lest we forget. And how can I forget movies? So I have a passion for movies and also TV shows, and I'll be posting videos on some of my favorite movies and TV shows that have really influenced me, including the writers and directors, the actors, and the stories behind the scenes. Also, I'll be posting stories. Stories about me, stories I hear, stories I notice stories about stories and storytelling. So in conclusion, isn't that the worst way to end something? In conclusion, in conclusion. So if you're interested in any or all of that, subscribe, comment below, and let me know your story so we can share stories. I feel a question coming on. How often will I be posting? 
I don't know at this point. It may be a waterfall, it might be a babbling brook, it might be a stream, might be a river, might be an ocean. Point being, if you're thirsty, if you're a general thirst monster, you will get some form of liquid from this channel. Yes. Peace be upon you all. Toodle-oo.